say what? There's bad things about Canton. Hey y'all, I'm the Canton Junkie. This is where we talk everything first Monday trade days in Canton, Texas. And Canton is my happy place. It's my Disney World. But we've got to talk about some of the bad parts. This is the five worst things about going to Canton. All right, number five on the worst things about Canton is that Paul Michael's store has closed. It closed in 2022. That was one of my favorite parts about going to First Monday, was stopping there, getting inspired. I love that they had like a designer's level showroom and it has closed. I think we all saw it coming. Their other locations were slowly closing. Their Canton store was getting kind of like smaller and smaller every time I visited. They do have a store though in Round Top, so if you're going to Texas Antiques Week coming up for their next event, you can shop Paul Michael there. It is so sad, but we must go on without it. So number four on the worst things about First Monday trade days is when you only get to go for one day that month. Yeah, I think you should go for a one night or two night stay. It's so much more relaxing. When you only go for a single day, it's so rushed. You're looking and looking so quick and digging so fast. And when you go for a single night, or a two night stay, you get to slow down a little bit, you get to dig a little more, you get to see more of the grounds, and you just don't miss as much because you've got more time to spend. Plus, if you're spending the night, then you can do some things in the town of Canton once the main First Monday grounds close. There's live music on the mountain at night. There is late night shopping at the Canton Marketplace. Um, the stores downtown are open till 6 p.m. during the week, so you can shop the downtown merchants. There's just lots of great stuff to do in Canton when you spend more than one day there. All right, y'all, this is the real deal on number three is the hotel prices. They are up 200 to 400% for first Monday trade days. And the thing is, is they're gonna fill every room. That's why they bring up those rates because they're gonna fill the rooms no matter what. But you do have other options. What I do is I stay in an Airbnb in the area. There are Airbnbs around town. There are Airbnbs on the mountain and in the surrounding towns. I've even stayed in Emory, which is a nearby town. I've stayed in Wills Point, and there's plenty of places to stay that are gonna be a little more affordable. There's also the option of bringing your RV and hooking up on site. And did you know you can actually pitch a tent and camp on site at Canton too? They also have that as an option. This one is sad, sad for me. Number two, the kicking mule, it's only open on the weekend. I usually go to First Monday trade days early because I'm trying to get footage and pictures and if I'm there on like Saturday afternoon, it's gonna be so packed I won't be able to get anything at all on camera. So we go early and that means we don't get to eat at the Kicking Mule downtown. I love that place, I love the menu. I love the atmosphere, the building is so cool. It's very like First Monday. It's, it's vintage and old brick and it's just a really cool downtown building. But they're only open Friday through Sunday. Ah, stab me in the heart. I'm usually headed home Friday afternoon, so I don't get to eat there, but you have to stop there. They don't take reservations for the First Monday weekend, but you've gotta stop in and try the Kicking Mule. All right, y'all, we're down to number one on the five worst things about Canton. Stick around after this one for one more on our list. And number one is forgetting to make a scooter reservation. Ah, so many people show up at the scooter tent. Hi, I'd like to get a scooter. Sorry, everything's reserved. You have got to call in advance, make a reservation like a week before the show. And it's the best way to get around Canton. It's how I see my favorite vendors First, I get first dibs. I can hit them up no matter where they are on the grounds. You can cover more ground by taking a scooter and you can haul your purchases. There's usually baskets on the front and the back of the scooter. And then I hook up my wagon to my scooter so I have this like whole caravan. But you've got to call in advance. If you forget to make that reservation and you get there and everything's reserved, whew, I hope you brought comfortable shoes. All right, y'all, one bonus item on the worst things about Canton, and that's that every show must come to an end. I hate it. I hate leaving. I hate getting in the car and pulling out of the parking lot and getting on the interstate and going home. But every show must end. That is what makes it special. It's not accessible all the time. It's only accessible once a month, 12 times a year. So I hate having to leave. I hate that it's only once a month. 
But at the same time, I think that's what draws us back every time. What's gonna be there? What am I getting first dibs on this month? I do think that's what makes it special. Thanks for watching y'all. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, leave comments, ask questions. I wanna know what you need to know before your next Canton trip. And check out my Instagram page. That's where I go a little deeper on vendors, things you can find there, all sorts of information about Canton itself. And check me out on Friday mornings of First Monday Trade Days. Friday mornings, 9.30, I'll be going live from the grounds, tell you what to expect, tell you what's going on, what's the weather like, uh, any surprises, any trends. I'll let you know Friday, 9.30, Instagram. That's only on the Fridays of First Monday weekends. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.